shape tool it is used to change the shape of an object click on the shape tool and then select the object by the help of this shape tool after clicking on this object by the help of shape tool these nodes will appear by the help of these nodes we can do some changing changing to this object we can drag it up we can resize it remember that this is a straight line we can add some other nodes to this straight line just double click on a point where you want to add a node and now from here you can change the shape of this straight line now this is the function of shape tool while we working on a straight line now we will see how to use it with curved lines now this is a straight line first of all we have to convert it to a curve so click on this line by the help of shape tool now here is a button convert to curve click here now you can see that uh, these two handles has been appeared now you can change the shape of this line by the help of these handles we can also add some nodes here just double click on the point where you want to add some nodes and you can see that this node has been added now click on this node and you uh, these handles can also be used for shaping the line every node in curve line has two handles and we can use these handles for shaping the line we can also uh, drag a line directly you can see that here is uh, uh, not a node but we can still drag it by the help of shape tool so this is the use of shape tool it is used to shape objects according to our requirements the next one is smooth tool but before smooth tool we have to learn this roughen tool here is a line and uh, we can change a uh, change it to a rough line by the help of this roughen tool here from here we can change the values of uh, roughen tool uh, i have added 1 inch according to my requirements from here we can also uh, change these values now i am going to change this line to a rough line just drag on this line and you will see that this line has been changed to a rough line you can see it now for example we want to change some of these points to smooth shape we will use this smooth tool for that purpose so click on this smooth tool and now just drag on these points and you can see that this point has been smooth this is the function of the smooth and rough tools 
smear tool it is very interesting tool for example i want to a location tag to a map of i will just insert a circle now by the help of this smear tool just drag this point to the bottom and you can see that this circle has been changed to a location mark the next one is trail tool now this line is look like in a straight way we can add some trail to it by the help of trail tool just select the trail tool and then click here you can see the trail effects has been added to this line just click on the point from where you want to trail this line here is an rectangle and we have we will see what we can do with this rectangle by the help of this trail tool so you can see that we can change the shape of a line completely just click on the point from here you want to trail it and it will be trail according to your requirements like like this so this is the function of trail tool and now attract this attract tool is also very important if you can see that here are uh, so many points so if we want to reduce these points so we can do it by the help of this attract tool just uh, click on the attract tool and then select this line and now from here we want to reduce these points just click there and hold your mouse button and you will see that these type these points has been reduced this is the function of attract tool the next one is repel tool by the help of this repel tool we can also expand these the gap between these points it is working opposite to the attractive attract tool you can see that we can expand gaps between these points the next tool is smudge tool here is a rectangle click on the smudge tool and i will increase this value 0.5 now click here and you will see that curves to this object has been added this is the function of smudge tool you can change values from here according to your requirements now i hope that you have understand the function of this shape tool and in fact these tools are very important because these tools will be used to shape any object according to our requirements in 
in upcoming lessons